crazy. We drove the contractors crazy when we built this end of the building because this line that runs down the entire length of the corridor is a the helicopter over me when I do this. <laughs> this is embedded into the concrete exactly. So if you extend it out, it would intersect the north and south pole. So that makes this a meridian line. You won't find this line on any map or globe because it's Griffith Observatory's very own meridian line. And look at this, these stairs. See how they're angled up? And look at those stairs over there. Those stairs are angled up special. So if you stood at the bottom of those stairs on a clear night, you would see Polaris. And looked up the center handrail, you would see Polaris. And I gotta wait until he passes over. <laughs> he does this to me every day. <laughs> really? Yeah. He's good. It's not. He's flying too close to the building. <laughs> Just far enough so I can't get his tail number. <laughs> so this is a meridian line. Those stairs there. If you stood at the bottom of those stairs and looked up the center handrail, you can sight on Polaris, the North Star. And over here is this concrete monolith. We kind of stole the idea from 2001 Space Odyssey. And on it is a stainless steel foil. On the foil, it's one of the most preeminent astronomical instruments devised by man. It's very complex and sophisticated. It's a hole. <laughs> so when the sun rises up out of the east, it projects a beam of light through that hole onto the ground. And that spot of light is over there. Uh, when that spot of light is on this side of the meridian line, we're in ante meridian time, AM, before the meridian. How many people knew what that stood for? <laughs> and then at local noon, local noon does not mean when the big hand and the little hand are on the 12, local noon means that point in time when the sun transits or crosses over your meridian line. And we have this arc here, so when it does that, it'll tell you the month and day. Now this is a Stone Age instrument, but we souped it up with electronics. Every one of these dots here is a sensor. So when the sun engages that, uh, you'll light up a piece of this map here on the left there. And it'll, it'll indicate what const the constellation that's behind the sun at that moment at local noon. So what's so important about that? That's your astrological birth sign. We don't do astrology here, but we kind of give them a nod. <laughs> so your astrological birth sign is not the constellation that appears at night on the day you're born. It's the one that's behind the sun at local noon on the day you're born. And then the sun moves off in the post meridian time. And the sun will march up and down this arc all year long because the Earth is tilted 23 and a half degrees. So it orbits the sun, that sunlight hits us at a different angle every day. That's the summer solstice, look how high the sun would have to be to project that beam of light there. And up there, that's the winter solstice, look how low the sun would have to be to project that bottom light there. And these are the fall. It was very important to have something like this in your village or nearby uh, during uh, ancient times. And if you travel throughout Europe uh, and parts of Asia, you'll see cathedrals, huge buildings with holes cut into their walls. Uh, that allowed the sunlight in, hit a part of the floor, hit a part of the wall, and uh, that told the villagers when it was time to harvest crops, when it was time to plant crops. Uh, it was very important to do that on time, because if you didn't plant or harvest crops on time, you would starve through your winter. I think this whole uh, corridor was inspired by another uh, observatory in Samarkand. Samarkand is just above Afghanistan. There was a, a, an, an astronomer there, I think it was 4 AD, his name was Ulig Bay, and he had it carved into a mountainside uh, about the length of this corridor. Actually, and he had a, a door at the end of the cave with a slot in it that allowed the light through. So we wanted to try and replicate that here. And, uh, moving at about, I know, everybody's going, how long is this going to take? <laughs> in LA, we're moving at about 862 miles an hour. Uh, we have one of home. Oh. Yeah. In Ireland, yeah. In Ireland, oh really, okay. In Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I, yes. Yeah, on the summer, on the south, it's a little shadow of light into the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. Lights down up inside. Yeah, the Vatican has one. Fortunately, we don't get the weather. <laughs> 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 and I think some, some modern architects are picking up on that. There's, there's a train station, uh, the Fulton Street Mark uh, Center in uh, Lower Manhattan in New York City. It doesn't tell time, it doesn't tell you the date, but it's uh, the building is aligned. 
the wood yeah, summer solstice. This, the, I think it's summer solstice. The light comes down through a, a big hole in the in the roof and it bounces off of a mirror and all the light goes down into the subway. Like five stories below. <laughs> so look at the arc there, you'll see part of the sun. Oh, yeah. See how fast that's going? Uh, by the way, you people will be the only person that will see it today. <laughs> Actually, because we're not going to rewind anything. <laughs> uh, we also have a sundial out on the lawn uh, in front of the building by the, the big obelisk there. That tells you the hour of the day. This tells you the month and day. <coughs> Yeah, they get narrow. Yeah, I want to cover it. It's not just placing it. Sure. So that will in some history, in some of this the yeah. some sort of a light on the other board? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just want to read the arc itself and we'll see the month of day. Yeah. 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 I want to build one of these in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. It's the way at the end of the board there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who is for today? Constellation Virgo is behind the screen right now. Look at this. Okay. This line is the Virgo. So it's the natural line. Oh, yeah, part of it? Yeah. So, uh, all those lights done all right. Yeah. Right. Dark. Yeah. Yes. Yes. One Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and you don't know where to live. It didn't help. It was the first thing. It was a really nice thing. Hold on to the one to the right. Yeah. Yeah, close over that. Very nice. Here we are. Local news. Uh, as you guys are going through the building, you know, there are museum guides on every floor, and you can tell who we are by our badges, and that's what we do. We answer any questions, that you, we try to answer every qu any questions that are posted uh, regarding science, astronomy, anything about the exhibits. So you can have any questions while you're here, uh, touring through the building, we have one of the museum guides that we will do our best to get that answer to you. Otherwise, we'll be standing around watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, showing a free movie for those who are not going to a planetary show. On this level inside the building is another.